Friday I was talking to you about how the upcoming game between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Vancouver Canucks might be the most highly anticipated Hockey Night in Canada game of the season so far. And it was everything you could have asked for. High drama, a close game, it went right down to the very end, and of course some fisticuffs because that is why we watched. So what I'm going to ask you to do now is go over to your calendars and mark down February 16th. Or if you're waiting to get a new calendar for Christmas, just put it in your phone. If you don't have a phone, put a sticky note on your forehead. You're not going to want to miss this. Because on February 16th, the Edmonton Oilers host the Philadelphia Flyers. Now usually, who really cares? They're two teams. They're not even in the same conference. Uh, they both happen to wear orange. That's about it. But thanks to Connor McDavid and Brandon Manning, it is a must-watch game. Uh, Steve, any game with Connor McDavid is a must-watch game. You're correct. Which brings me to, who the heck is Brandon Manning? He's actually kind of a nice story. Undrafted player out of Prince George, BC. Plays his junior hockey in the WHL with the Chilliwack Bruins. Signs a deal with the Flyers. Fights his way up through the minors. Going up and down, up and down. And now he's finally a mainstay on their NHL roster. But he briefly became a household name last season when he happened to be one of the players who got tied up with super rookie Connor McDavid. Breaking McDavid's collarbone. Now everyone's freaking out about Connor McDavid. And Don Cherry did mention, you know what? I think he did it on purpose. But most people went, yeah, yeah, okay. Manning downplayed it. Even McDavid downplayed it. And now we got this high drama because McDavid alluding to the fact that Manning says he did it on purpose. Now, there's obvious hype going into the rematch. I mean, I know it's a few months away, but vengeance has to be on the Oilers' minds. Lucic is gonna kick down the door and storm to the ice with fireworks like Goldberg. Grabs a microphone from the anthem singer, stands at center ice and goes, Brandon Manning, you're next! And that appeals to us because human beings are crazy. We evolved from monkeys and all that stuff. But I do have another point. Have you ever heard of the Midas touch? Where everything you touch turns to gold? I think that applies to hockey. But if you play on Connor McDavid's line, you're going to do well. But what if you're on the other team and you get under Connor McDavid's skin? McDavid is a superstar, and because of that, he has star-making abilities, both good and bad. Dude, Nazem Kadri battles with Connor McDavid, gets an OT winner, and it's all anyone can talk about nationally for like two or three weeks. Now we can look at Brandon Manning, and let's assume what Connor McDavid said was true, okay? Let's assume Manning actually bragged about hurting McDavid on purpose. That's definitely gross, and it is classless, like McDavid said. But I bet the Flyers and other teams around the league are looking at this and going, Manning is a a big part of the reason that the Oilers gave up a two goal lead twice and lost. And the word has gotten out, you can't compete with McDavid's skill, you can't compete with his speed, you cannot contain him, so the only thing left to do is rattle his cage a little bit. So there's a few options here. One is the next time someone tries to be Brandon Manning, McDavid fights him. But remember when McDavid got into a fight in junior and broke his hand? Maybe don't do that. Option two, which I think a lot of Oilers fans want, someone does the fighting for him. Or do you go with option three and play to McDavid's strengths, which is making them pay on the scoreboard? I guess we'll find out the next time someone tries to be Brandon Manning against the Oilers. And I guess we'll find out February 16th. Mark it down.